everybody! Okay, just making sure the video started. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're on a random run with a one streak, so if you get a shitty draw, it doesn't really bother me, but Judas is a great draw. And Rhythm is a dance, so it's a PY4R. Planes? Yeah, for real. Queen 63 sits in first class. That doesn't really make any sense, but you get it. Anyway, chocolate milk in our first item room. That's the second time uh, in three videos that that's happened today. So that's, I mean, it's mostly just interesting right now. It's not mathematically ridiculous or anything like that. Um, but if it happens again in relatively quick succession, I will be mildly surprised. That's how I'll choose to frame that, you know. Doesn't mean it's not random. It doesn't mean that it's based on the day or the time of day or anything like that. Um, but it could, because <laughs> it does seem to happen from time to time. Anyway, I'm not, uh, you know, a rigorous enough statistician to check that, but somebody else out there might want to. Although, do we really want to crack the code of what is the RNG behind the Binding of Isaac Rebirth? Do we really want people doing, you know, 500 streaks where they wake up at 531 in the morning? Exa Don't answer that, because the answer is probably yes. Um, I love Judas. I hate that I took dumb damage there. And we have a shop, so let's let's use this shop. I'm actually glad that isn't the secret room, because it means that the secret room could still be adjacent to this fancy area up here, which is fantastic. If we just get one more bomb, uh, we can bomb our way into the cursed room, which we would expect to probably give us spirit hearts, I suppose. A guppy item, etc., etc. Uh, weirdly enough, there's not really that much reason for me to have a... Uh, a battery with Book of Belial. I mean, I guess it would be nice to be able to use it twice in a row if we encounter two difficult rooms in a row, but you guys know me better than that. You know that it's unlikely that I would find myself in that situation. With the major or within the majority of situations with Book of Belial, I pretty much find myself uh, using it exclusively for the boss, or like boss and mini boss. So, we're missing out on a lot on this floor, and I'm not happy about it. I don't want to go to the cursed room uh, unless we can do so without losing our spirit heart, which requires a bomb. We didn't get any extra money there. If I could buy a bomb, it would be so good for me. Also, one bomb could get me like 12 cents, something ridiculous along those lines from that money back there, but I don't think there's a bomb for sale in here at the price that I can afford, and I can't blow up our donation machine because I already used a bomb failing to find the secret room in the location that I should have looked at in the first place. So, uh, this is a seed we're definitely if you had used your bombs maybe a little bit smarter or not needed to buy the spirit heart, you might find yourself in a different position. That's actually 14 cents over there. Uh, so it's a big disappointment for me that I'm leaving without it. That being said, we're still in a fine position. And the fact that we uh, have chocolate milk along with Book of Belial definitely gives us great killing potential in the future. However, I'd, I'd be lying if I said I weren't a little disappointed about the way that this worked out. That's okay. As, you know, we're not going to remember th perhaps having a sub... I don't even want to say fucking it up, because I got hit once, okay? This shit's going to happen from time to time. Um, this does come with a corresponding damage upgrade, which is nice, even if it's not that uh, amazing. Concussive Tears is a decent effect as is. One bomb can get our bomb uh, reaction started here, which is good as well. And there's a Tinted Rock there. I didn't think... Oh my god, I thought there were two, and now all of a sudden there's like seven, and... Like, four of them were champions. Anyway, we're gonna get through it just fine. Um, it's still good. The only thing we're gonna remember on this run is whether or not we won, and, you know, if it's particularly incredible how we did it. So, we're gonna do our best to make sure that that prophecy comes true and not sweat the small stuff too much. And it's mostly small stuff, not all. That would be disingenuous. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a little risky, but it's worth doing. Now... With our shop here, if we could find a bomb in the shop for five cents, that would be incredible for us. Of course. There is not one available. So we'll probably end up buying that spirit heart. I do want to go to the curse room on this floor, but uh, might not be in the cards for us. One bomb allows us to get two bombs, which allows us to potentially find the secret room, in addition to uh, being able to get whatever's in that tinted rock, which if it's a spirit heart, could be like really, really valuable for us right now. Uh, let's check this out. 
I don't know. Here's what I'm thinking. You, you teleport out with Undefined, and then, yeah, you get into the secret room, maybe. And then if you go back into the boss room and take Book of Belial, do we have to fight? We have to fight. Okay, so we'll use Book of Belial here. Uh, and we'll hope for a bomb consumable when we finish. So basically, we, we're fighting in here for the three cents that we got from the secret room. And for the location of the secret room, which is unfortunately not next to our curse room this time. Is this... I don't know if this is just chocolate milk or something, but it seems weirdly framey. Anyway. I guess, uh, unfortunately, we do find ourselves low on bombs again, so as a result of this, I'd probably just go buy the spirit hearts. I could go to the curse room, you know? No one is sadder than me that I'm gonna be missing out on two... Almost bought the pill, which could have been good, but... Um, that I'm missing out on two curse rooms while trying to become Guppy. But I guess that's, uh, that's the road we have to walk down right now. It's certainly a weird one right now, and a, a bit of a scary one. You know what? I like technology, and um, it's possible that chocolate milk technology actually has a synergy that's positive for us, but it also ruins the ability to fire charge shots. Um, so as much as I love technology, for one, we've had it a lot lately, and for two, I, I just like chocolate milk a little bit more, and I don't think uh, necessarily need to defend myself over that one. Chocolate milk's a fan favorite, at least in its rebirth configuration. Still takes two hits to kill these guys, but you can really see that we're... Excuse me? Um, you can really see that we're uh, doing an awful lot of damage here. Most enemies dying in one hit. And that's what I don't want to compromise with technology, even if it would give me infinite range and effectively piercing shots, etc, etc. So we're doing this all for one cent. I gotta... Oh, I didn't even see that bomb there. I mean, or that bone, I should say. I, I, I'm not surprised you fired it. I thought I saw you fire it, but I just figured we killed you in the middle of your animation there. It's okay. You know, one and a half spirit hearts is effectively very similar to two. It's very encouraging that these guys are dying in one hit. Champion will probably take two. Maybe even three. Alright, let's see if we can bomb our... I hate the spike room, man, because I am like... Very nearly getting hit. This is still the danger zone, because we haven't gotten any HP. That's not going to help out. Uh, and no HP as Judas is, is liable to keep you in the danger zone. No need to blow up this judgment. Um, we might want to actually play it if we get the bombs and the, the money for it. But the extra spirit heart right now is uh, a blessing in and of itself. Same pill? Not the same pill. Balls of Steel, great pill for us right here. May actually make a uh, deal with the devil viable for us. I guess, you know, it, it's easier to soften the blow of not being able to go to all the curse rooms when you know that you're going to be able to get a deal with the devil on every single floor. I can understand that. Before we do this, I'm actually going to go to what I assume is our shop here, and... Yeah, exactly. I wanted to buy a spirit heart. Uh, just so that if we do get hit a couple of times, we can still get a deal with the devil with some confidence that we'll survive. Shouldn't be taking damage against the hollow, but, you know, things change sometimes. Yo, you should be concussed all the time. I think it makes you tougher to dodge, honestly. Alright, latch key is another spirit heart and a couple of keys. And then inside of here we got... Uh, I'm going to choose to think of this not as a shitty devil, but instead free items. Full health is meaningless. Puberty is basically meaningless for us here. And for once we have the HP necessary to go into our curse rooms. Curse room, which is... Hopefully not going to completely backfire on us. Um, Goathead? What do I think about Goathead? Goathead shows up very frequently, seemingly. Although that's probably just uh, due to the fact that, you know, we get to see all the deals of the devil for once. But Goathead seems to show up all the time on Book of Belial runs. I like it anyway, because we can now get rid of Book of Belial if we want to. Um, we don't right now, but if we want to, we could. Yeah, no secret room adjacent here, so we'll we'll take our spirit heart loss. It kind of sucks, but um, we've never really been super strong on uh, consumables on this run. We had the chance to pick up those 14 cents super early and just weren't able to make it happen. Are you a wizard? Bad gas. And it looks like another run of dubious pills, but I can't be too mad. Is that like a like an early 20th century British TV show? The dubious or the early adventures of dubious pills. Let's, uh, 
move it along here after that joke. Okay, so we'll have Are You a Wizard for a second here. I am going to check this out. We're unlikely to fight an enemy in here, and we got two Spirit Hearts back. Full health will save, um, mostly because we got nothing better to hold right now. If we do, we'll replace it in a heartbeat, but we don't for now, so let's just uh, enjoy it while it lasts, I suppose. Gotta get one shot out here before he comes back. This is the one time I would want, like, a sense or key. I know that that doesn't really make any sense, but a, a sense or key item might be good for us here. We're balling out of control on keys. We got no money with which to use it. Why can't I have, you know, no keys and eight money? Can't r I mean, we can get that, but the odds of it being worthwhile are quite low. And this is gonna look harder than it's actually gonna be, I think. Most of these guys are gonna die in... Well, all these guys are gonna die in just a little bit over one hit. So once we opened up a seam there, it got pretty easy for us to, us to finish the job. These guys are actually some of my least favorite enemies here. By the way, I should apologize for keyboard noise. If you guys can still hear some keyboard sounds here, I apologize. That's chocolate milk. It's, uh, you know, good damage and keyboard sounds. Let's try this out. It might be a little risky. We got the bombs back, which I appreciate. We got a lot of bombs back, and now we actually pretty quickly have enough money to maybe start making some waves here, which is nice. Now we're on Caves 2 very quick. Pardon me, still recovering a little bit from the Wisdom Tooth surgery. Um, I'll take it. Because with Chocolate Milk, we can get like super huge tiers that are going to do a lot of damage. It's going to lower our rate of fire, which makes it longer to charge up a full shot, but you know, there's no substitute for killing enemies in a single blow. Like, all enemies, in a single blow, almost. Um, I, uh... I, you know, Boss Rush is what I was talking about earlier. It's on my mind a little bit. It would be nice to... I don't know why I turned into, like, a fake Italian man there. But it would be, uh, it would be nice to do it. We haven't done it in a while. Ladies. Uh, new pill. Luck down. Really knocking it out of the park on the pills so far. Thank God we got another key. Alright. It's very easy to shoot these diagonal shots when you have such low shot speed. I'm not being sarcastic, it really is easy. <coughs> Pardon me again. If you could just pop out here. Thank you. And... we go. Allow me to take a sip of water here. I want to pause so that I don't uh, ruin my boss rush chances. Alright. Uh, we- Oh, I used the pill by accident, putting my hands back on the keyboard, and then took one full spirit heart worth of damage. Definitely uh, a smart play on my part there. I'm not gonna use boss or uh, Book of Belial here. I don't think it's necessary, and our boss room could just be around the corner. These are still pretty small floors, all things considered. Again, Eve's Mascara is pretty much like a net... zero change. Halves your rate of fire, doubles your damage. But if we're going to find ourselves with not, like, if we don't have an opportunity to fire at every possible second, it makes sense, I think, to take this, because we can just put the time when we could have been firing into charging instead to get even more damage out of it. But, you know, the people are of two minds about this item for sure. Okay. This should be a four-shot room. And I think that prophecy is going to come true. You guys are really slowing me down here. But I don't hold it against you. Come on, good pill. They can't all be the bad or like mostly neutral pills. They literally can be. There's enough of them in the rotation, but I wish that they weren't. Okay, this is good. This is, it's actually great for us. Because if we can get something from the shop and then go fight the boss, again, deals with the devil are going to be pretty easy for us to, to justify. Yeah, um, I'll tell you what. I think we're going to get enough money anyway. So let's start with this. Allow me to take another sip of water here. My throat's getting a little parched. Not used to talking so much, apparently, from sitting on my ass for the past few days. A little, a little scratchy. I need to get some cough medicine or something. That'll be the professional video. Northern Lion starts taking cough medicine in the middle of his uh, rebirth play. That'll make the subreddit. Alright, little Chad. It's Satanic Bible. <clears throat> Pardon me again, I'll tell you what. Satanic Bible is probably the right play. Because we have Goathead. 
So if we get Satanic Bible, um, we can pretty quickly get it back to the amount of HP we used to have. Come on, all you gotta do is hit him once. Um, we can pretty quickly get back to the amount of HP that we used to have, and uh, just start building on that for the future. So I do think this is completely viable for us. It's probably the right choice, thanks to Goathead. So we'll do that, and you know, it, it makes sense to me to uh, blow this up as much as is necessary in order to get uh, none sab. We're gonna be one cent short here. I don't want to pick up that penny yet because we'd accidentally buy the key maybe. There we go. Alright. This is good I think. Different, not what I expected, but good. Still haven't really uh, picked up the deal with the devil item that's gonna do gangbusters for us, but maybe Satanic Bible is going to be that item that's going to do gangbusters for us. That worked well for me. And I've got to admit that, you know, we don't necessarily need a deal with the devil. You don't always say that as Judas, but we don't necessarily need a deal with the devil with uh, Eve's Mascara Chocolate Milk. When the time strikes, our damage is, uh, it's good. This is, I, I don't normally use the Gurglings as like our barometer for whether or not the run's going well. But being able to two-shot a champion Gurgling and one-shot the rest is really, really good. We might be a little bit too slow for boss rush. I don't know, every time I say boss rush, I feel like it's like an Eastern European boxer. In the red corner, weighing 280 pounds. I'm trying to think, the, the bear. Boss rush, boss rush, boss. Yeah, it would be good, you know? Rocky could fight him. It'd be a very galvanizing piece of Cold War era media. All right. I know Rocky's not like really a real person. But he's real to me, god damn it. Stood right in the way of that. So just squandered all of the progress I'd made with Satanic Bible, but it's okay. Cupid's arrow, I mean we should shoot every time I that happens to me, I feel guilty for not shooting more poop, but I you know, it's a happy accident there for us. Say not Satanic Bible, Sagittarius, Cupid's arrow. It's not Sagittarius because we don't get the speed upgrade, but effectively it's Sagittarius. Helps us out a ton. We already have great damage. Our range sucks, but if we hit more than one enemy, they're gonna die. Pretty much uh, no questions asked. And that also doubles, you know, for enemies that spawn other enemies. They're not gonna be able to spawn other enemies because well they will spawn them, but then they'll die. It also doubles for bosses that split. As you can see right here, Fistula not really proving to be that dangerous. This is a great run. HP wise leaves a little bit to be desired. Key for a bomb. I mean it is a good trade, but it might not be a good trade forever, so. This is good, it's our second guppy item. If we become guppy on this run, our flies are really, really good. That's the, the kind of unsung thing about Eve's Mascara is that if you get flies or spiders, they come out at the same rate. Uh, assuming that, you know, you're, you're hitting or killing the same amount of enemies that you otherwise would be. They're coming out at the same rate. Thereby meaning that they just get a huge damage bonus. It's almost like picking up Hive Mind, because they're not affected by rate of fire, except you might spawn less depending on which way you got flies or spiders. But anyway, I digress. Let's see. What we get in this deal with the devil. Little Gish is a, a totally fine item. Lump of coal would be fantastic here. Krampus' head would be a real disappointment. Because there's nothing we can do about it. Krampus needs his own music, man. Liven it up a little bit. There we go. We got Lump of Coal for the third time in a row. That's... I'm not complaining. Not complaining. That's really good. And Boss Rush is potentially slipping by the wayside here. But... I think we have to try to go to our shop. I don't know what I'm hoping for now that I think about it. Maybe a greed fight. No greed fight, so we'll just leave. And we're gonna be out of here like 10 seconds slower than we'd like to be. And in fact, it's gonna get a little slower because I will use two keys to pick up uh, seven bombs. I think that's acceptable. Uh, let's go. If we don't do boss rush, we don't do boss rush, right? It doesn't really matter that much. And if we do, we do. It would be nice to get a teleport card to make it happen. Curse of the Blind. Man, I'm not a huge fan of this, but we'll do it anyway. And the extra Spirit Heart. And two nickels is actually pretty great as well. It's probably gonna end up being worth it, even though it seems a little slow here. Another great item that I would probably, you know, it would make me consider getting rid of, uh... Satanic Bible? Tammy's Head. Tammy's Head for sure. Would, uh... 
I would get rid of it for it, I think. Even though our HP would be low and non-replenishable, probably. It's so good, especially if we can get like a Cricket's Body or something going along with it. Not great damage there, but hey, at least it charged up uh, Satanic Bible a little closer to fruition there. Here's a common mistake I see a lot on the internet. Instead of uh, fruition, people will say, I can't wait to see this come to tuition. And that doesn't really make any sense. As much as you might want someone to pay off your student loans, um, unfortunately, that statement doesn't come true. Now, I'm always the, the person saying that, um, you know, I don't really care about grammatical mistakes, especially in print, as long as it's still readable. I mean, if it's a, st if it's a style concern for, like, a, you know, a book or something like that, that's different. But in terms of, like, you know, online message boards and stuff like that, as long as I understand what you're saying, it doesn't bother me if you spell it, like, no caps, fucking, you know, a, a spelling error or something like that, and English isn't your first language. I'm not going to be one of those assholes that gets up your butt. However, not everybody's so nice. So, you know, in case you want to avoid looking like uh, you don't know what you're talking about when you're talking online, Online spelling errors win or lose arguments, man. So, you know, I don't know if you're getting really bent out of shape about, uh, you know, the DLC in Mortal Kombat X or something like that. You want to win your argument? There's step one. Come to fruition, not come to tuition. That's Northern Lions English lesson for the day. Never got to teach that one in South Korea. Mostly uh, stuck with, you know, hi, my name is blank. I was teaching five-year-olds. They weren't stupid. That was more uh, Korean than I spoke at that age. You know what? We've been to our uh, we've been to our item room. We've been to our shop. Let's give ourselves a chance at boss rush just in case. And we're not gonna have any means to teleport. Now, Red Mom is not a great choice for us here. Cause oh, there we go. We got Bob's brain to go without actually getting hit ourselves. Never mind. Red Mom's totally fine now. We could use like some shot speed upgrades. Which is not surprising, considering we took Eve's Mascara, but we could use some shot speed upgrades. Thus making Lump of Coal a little bit better, because we could shoot from further away. Um, we definitely want the Polaroid. That's going to stay open, so we might as well go here first. Dark Matter. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Ah, uh, Book of Sin. Ah, you fucking suck, Book of Sin. Fuck you. Okay. We're not going to go to Boss Rush, because it's Curse of the Blind. Even though I just went through all that trouble. If we had a Teleport, we'd take a free item, but else... You know, otherwise, no no chance. That was not a good use of six spirit hearts, by the way. Um, try, like, Bob's brain. You know what? My familiars can finish the job for me here. That might be the best way to handle this room without putting myself too much in harm's way. Shots will still be piercing. They just won't look like it. And we're only one guppy item away from completion here, so... Really, what we want to avoid is the uh, the Bob's Brain Firemind shit that happened to me. I'm running. Now I'm glad I'm doing this room. Um, remember when I had Firemind on that Eden run? Northern Lion, how could we forget, people are saying. It was such a terrible run because you sucked. And that's true. But I've got to avoid that exact same thing happening to me here, which is to say we can't lose, we can't afford to lose uh, as much HP as I might consider. Just by being bad with Bob's brain. We gotta be good with Bob's brain. You got Bob's brain, you fire it. You let Bob's brain do its damage and then you move on to like the other, you know, the rest of your day, basically. I can't, uh, get away with losing a bunch of spirit hearts. Or, you know, black hearts, whatever you want to call them here. Um, every one I lose, I get one-sixth of one back. That's not a good conversion. Pretty soon, that's gonna lead to zero. I can't believe he didn't die in one hit, even though it was not fully charged. That's still surprising. That's our first trinket of the game. Late into the uh, proceedings here. Happy to have it, though. Good stuff. One room away. Let's not get hit. Shouldn't get hit on this room, and that's the perfect room. Any battery is worth a lot to us now. Okay. Use it. Pick it up and use it. We don't have Curse of the Blind here, right? No, we have no curse. Well, yeah, we'll take Chariot with us. This deal with the devil is all important. If we can get a, uh, a guppy item, the run is pretty much sorted. If we don't get a guppy item, you know, the, the grind kind of continues. But we're in a great position. Like, our damage is so good. I don't want to frame it like this is a tricky run. It's only tricky because uh, we, we lack HP, but that's entirely based on... 
not RNG of the game. That's based on whether or not I can avoid taking actual damage. So every room that we go through that, that we don't take damage on takes us a step closer to being at the HP cap. That can be eroded pretty quickly, but for now it's really good. Hitbox on that tier is so large. I love it. Uh, golden key is good, but where is the tinted rock? There is no tinted rock here. That's a surprise. This is why on every run I ask for piercing shots. Because of the, it, it can do for us what piercing shots are doing for us right now. Which is basically turning a run with good damage, or even great damage, into a run with like amazing damage. We basically got like, our first shot is like brimstone. And it kills anything in its way. And then it takes us a long time to charge up the next one, but... Even when I miss, it's hard to miss because the tier is so large. Alright, let's get a full shot charged up. Going quite quickly here. Uh, Bob's brain's gonna fire, so we gotta... I... I hit him! It worked. Okay, now we need to wait for probably... Ah, that worked alright. That's the best moment for us right there, is when the that nub is actually up. That was actually really easy, and the damage upgrade that we got there is great, especially combined with the range upgrade. Get the knife, we get the ability to fly. Um, I don't think we take the knife here. I really like what we've got going on. Now, it would, it would be good for our damage to take the knife, of course, but mostly, if we can fly, that's pretty good. That's good by me. This is a decision that I want to clarify. I'm not making... I could easily misrepresent this and be like, Oh, because you guys don't want to see Mom's knife, I'm not going to take the knife. And that would be a win for me, because that's not really the truth. The truth is, I actually really like our tier right now, and I don't want to fuck with it. I like our tier effect. I didn't take Mom's knife for me. It might seem selfish, but I'm actually being uh, more honest, I think, by not trying to misrepresent it. If I, if I needed or wanted Mom's knife, I think I would have taken it there. Hopefully that doesn't end up biting us in the ass. I really like, like, not fucking with chocolate milk right now. Dark Bomb would be such a good pickup as well. But, alas, we're not gonna get it, so let's just, you know, relax. And we know that we're not getting any more deals with the devil. That's okay, you know. Nixon didn't have any deals with the devil and looked at how he turned, look at how he turned. No, that doesn't really make any sense. Um, but I was looking for a comment. The, the genesis of that joke was supposed to be like, you know, back in my day, we didn't have deals with the devil. Anyway, I don't know why I chose Nixon. It was, it, it, that became the focus of the joke as opposed to the joke being the focus of the joke. That was a very stupid bit of damage as well. I wouldn't say we're, we're throwing yet, but that is, you know, not a good place to be losing uh, HP there. We probably should have been hit there as well. All right. So this fight should be really easy. Thank you, familiars. The only thing I'm worried about is uh, Bob's brain, and we've taken that out of the equation, at least temporarily speaking. I'm not going to uh, use the chariot card if I can avoid it. I, I think it's much better to use it on the uh, Isaac fight. Might get us, we don't have any orbitals, but it still might get us through like the, the first phase. Not the first two phases, just the first phase. But I'm feeling good about this, this is solid. I'll take a sip of my water here. Thank God I made such an effort to uh, get to boss rush, huh? Now, we're hoping against hope for red chests here. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, we got... Okay. I don't think Judas's Shadow is the right choice here. I loved it on the last run, even though it ended up... Or two runs ago, even though it ended up not, you know, coming through to fruition for us. But, uh... Unfortunately... I don't think it's the right choice for us anymore, but I'm still glad we went through this here because we got the we got two spirit hearts out of it actually, which is pretty crazy. Let's move along. That was exceptionally dumb damage, but we've taken HP lately, so uh, I, I don't mind it too much. We're probably not going to need 20 keys, but you don't want to be the guy who said we don't need 20 keys, and then all of a sudden you get you know 21 golden chests. Which I believe is the sequel to 22 Jump Street. It's very confusing now. Nothing there. Two of hearts. We'll take the one spirit heart loss to try for Guppy. We didn't get Guppy, but we got uh, an awful lot of pills, none of which are useful. And a couple of keys. What do we want here? Pheromones, maybe? Pheromones is our best pill? I wouldn't say we broke even there. That would be mathematically irresponsible. 
The card was the chariot. What's it? Pheromones or the chariot? Probably the chariot, so we used pheromones there. We'll wait for you to not jump so that I can actually hit you with a good shot. It took a little longer than expected, but that's okay. So we got four new items coming our way. What do I want to see? Anything that multiplies our shot. And that goes for not only, you know, 20-20 quad shot, triple shot, but if we could get Cricket's Body or um, Parasite, that would be great as well. Because our shots are doing so much damage that any way to multiply those would be awesome. Uh, rubber Cement would be weird and ridiculous and fun, as it always is, and... Uh, Homing shots would help us maximize it, but I don't think we're going to be in that much trouble, like, uh, in terms of, like, killing the enemies-wise. I would normally, 10 times out of 10, bomb my way through this. Just leave the room. However, because we have piercing shots and a ton of damage, it seems to make way more sense to just finish it. It was super easy. If we can kill Envy in three hits... Especially, like, the first hit taking off one-third of its HP, the second hit taking off two-thirds, and the third hit killing it and all of its spawn. Uh, that, that's a great room in my, uh, purposes. For my purposes, I should say. I don't really want to take Wiggle Worm. I'm not in that much of a comfortable position. Balls of Steel is a great pickup there, though. And even though we got hit, we did manage to use Satanic Bible in time to still get one-sixth of a charge for finishing the room, which is the important part there. Hierophant, also great. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, we can stand over the rock, so we should stand over the rock. I mean, yeah, dump Bob's brain in a long-range situation. I was a little close, but we cheated death. Come on. Even more keys. Um, we'll just keep it going here, I guess. Like, there's not really enormous concerns for me right now. This run is getting very close to the HP cap. It's a great situation. Perhaps we got carried a little bit, but I'm, I'm proud of our decision-making process here. We turned out a bunch of items that would have uh, removed the chocolate milk functionality, mom's knife and uh, technology, and I'm proud of myself for having the strength to do so. Somewhat, at least. Uh, you know, let's not get a big head about it or anything. Okay. That was not very smart. <laughs> there goes our HP cap, but we're getting pretty close to getting back to it anyway. And we're apparently going to explore absolutely everything. On the cathedral. It's okay, but it does make me long for some map items. At some point, you gotta say, like, enough is enough. <laughs> if we're not getting close to the end by now, I don't really know what to say. I guess we say enough is enough. Okay, this will be guaranteeing us one more black card by the time we get down to the chest. Maybe even earlier. I don't know, maybe we'll use our chariot card. Like, instead of using it against Isaac, maybe we can use it to clear out a, an annoying room on the chest. I'm starting to be of the opinion that, you know, the Isaac fight is not necessarily more difficult than, like, a double cage room. In fact, the Isaac fight might almost be, like, an order of magnitude easier than a double cage room, so... You know, better to, if we can afford to, better to exercise our, our best abilities later. And I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of the way we've used Bob's brain thus far as well. Could have easily, uh, you know, hurt ourselves with it, but instead... I don't know that... I mean, we've hurt ourselves with it once or twice, but uh, apart from that, it's pretty solid. That was not very smart damage on my part, as you might be able to divine. One more good hit? Uh, not quite. That was definitely like a two-shotter I should have taken there. Oh, well. One more good hit now. And we're going to be totally fine heading down to the next floor. But I would love to see some good deal with... Or not deal with the devil items. Although that would be awesome. I would love to see some good chest items here. Nope. Uh, yes. That's fantastic. Not really. Uh, and the worst. Especially with Bob's brain. But triple shot is great. Our charge is going to take 100 years. But, if we charge it up before entering each room, it's going to be, like, unbelievably good. It's going to destroy enemies. Not that it wasn't already. And Blood of the Martyr helps out with that. Uh, I think we got a full charge here. It's a little hard to tell. Not quite one-shotting Monstro 2, but, you know, it's not too far away. And we didn't have, like, any lump of coal bonus on that one either. Not much, at least. 
Proptosis would also be amazing, of course. But now we're kind of, you know, getting a little greedy about it. That's good. I mean, it, it is two-shotting. The two shots take forever, but it's two-shotting with a full charge. And that's a nice feeling. This room's supposed to be annoying. Instead, it was just a, you know, mildly inconvenient. This room's not too bad at all. As long as I can avoid the leapers there. The problem, as always, is that, you know, our range still kind of sucks. So to get these shots in from afar takes a little bit of, you know, elbow grease. But this is looking like it's going to be a fairly easy win. So we can move on to our, you know, Eden run next time. And I'm excited about that. Being able to rebuild the streak after, you know, the streak shouldn't have ended. I, I threw it in a way that I should not have. But uh, it, it happens from time to time. So I'm not going to beat myself up too much. I think it makes sense to save the Burkano room for the boss fight, which is coming up right here. And what we'll do is we'll go in with a full charge and then use the Burkano rune, and I think that the Spiders and Flies will just do stupid damage. Like, just get close here and then... Come on, Spiders. There we go. That's not really as much as I would have thought, honestly. But now, like, we're not going to die. We've reached the, the escape velocity with Nun's Habit, where... As long as we use it every time it gets fully charged, all we need to do is, you know, not get hit 13 times. And I don't even think it's mathematically possible if we're firing at our best possible, or even close to our best possible efficiency, yeah. Easy finish. I, I finished sloppily there, but that's just how I do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.